be it the big time star, the small school gem, the underrated or the underappreciated, I love watching good football players. Maryland wide receiver and return man Teldrick Morgan fits the bill. The New Mexico State transfer does a lot of little things that I appreciate from a good football player. He's shifty, he's comfortable with physical play, and he plays in control of his body. That last quality is something many top prospects don't do, especially wide receivers. I'm Matt Waldman of the Rookie Scouting Portfolio, and this is the RSP Boiler Room. The Boiler Room features analysis that I would share with NFL decision makers if they asked for a handful of plays that illustrates the talent, skills, limitations, or developmental upside of an NFL prospect. We're going to examine three plays of Morgan's game before he made his way to Maryland. This is a slant placed over the defender into open space that requires an over-the-head adjustment after working free of the cornerback. This is a play of underrated difficulty because of how fast the receiver must transition from physical play to graceful play. Morgan uses his outside arm to ward off the contact of the slot defender. While the corner doesn't do a great job of jamming the receiver, Morgan is the first to make the contact and as he earns position with that outside arm, he's quick to turn his head to locate the ball. Although the release move isn't elaborate, it's effective, and Morgan is showing that he thinks ahead. Here comes my favorite part, and one of the little things from receiver play that I rarely see from college prospects, extending for the ball with total control of one's body on a high target. Watch how Morgan raises his arms to the ball first and leaves his feet only as necessary. Most receivers at this level jump first and discover that they're making the catch with the ball at their chest or face while they're airborne. Their movements are so inefficient that it can cost them control of the ball and balance upon contact with the defender, and they have to spend more time and effort to earn yards after the catch. Morgan lets his eyes and arms guide how much he needs to leave his feet. It's a sign of coordination and confidence in his hands that doesn't require his body to be a backstop. Now this corner route isn't a positive play in the game, but from the context of examining talent, I find it valuable despite the fact that Morgan might have been called for an offensive pass interference penalty. I don't even remember. It doesn't matter to me. What I like is his ability to find the angle to get leverage on the defender and exploit it with a shove. Sure, it comes late and he might have been called for it, but he'll often get away with this at the NFL level because if the officials see the defender as the initiator of the contact, He'll, get, he'll be fine. Although he doesn't catch the ball, I like once again how the arms and upper body follow his eyes and extend towards the ball before any decision to leave his feet. This punt return is another good example of how Morgan understands angles. This time it's tracking the ball on a bounce and avoiding multiple defenders as he weaves across the field. Players with control of their bodies also have good balance running through trash and Morgan works through contact to his hips or legs three different times during this return. I have more to study before I tell you what I think of Morgan's NFL prospects, but I can say that when it comes to playing in control and understanding the angles and leverage of the game, this receiver has skills that many top prospects lack. Thanks for watching. For more of my work on NFL prospects, check out my blog, The Rookie Scouting Portfolio, at www.mattwaldmanrsp.com or my YouTube channel, The RSP Film Room. See ya.